Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a simple but lovely Mother's Day message in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. May is a special month for all mothers, but especially your mother. Let's show our moms how much they mean to us with a fun Doodly video. The first thing we want to do is click the Create New Video button and choose a style. I like the plain whiteboard, so that's what I'm going to choose. I'm going to give it a name and choose a resolution. I'm going to go for the standard 1080 and click Create. Now let's think about our background. You know, Mother's Day is typically flowers and pretty images. So I'm going to use that for my background. And in this case, I'm going to use it as the video wide background. So if you're not familiar with this technique, it might be new to you. So what I want to do is obviously find an image, which I've already done. I found it on pixabay.com and I'm going to bring it in. So let's go over here to settings. And right here, background style, you've got your standard whiteboard, chalkboards, glassboard, but then you have custom here. So that's what I'm going to choose, custom. And then we go over here to background. I don't want this green custom color. I want a custom image. And now I simply browse for my file that I've already downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So now I just need to size it appropriately. You'll see it's much larger than it's showing. So I, if I want to use the full image, I just do as much as I can. Don't go into this transparent area because then that's just going to be blank. So size your little rectangle accordingly. I do want as much of it as I can get and I kind of like the top part so I'm going to position mine here and I think the butterfly looks pretty right there. So that's beautiful. I'm going to click done and apply. So now I have this lovely background and if I add additional scenes, it'll appear on all of them. So I do want probably two scenes. It's just going to be text and what I'll do is I'll put my main message here and then leave that on for a couple seconds. And then on the second one, I'll have my second one that says, you know, love Pam or whatever. And now we need a font that's going to be pretty with this. So you're going to click on the font tab and you're going to choose a lovely font. You know, you probably don't want something cartoony this time. You want something pretty. So just kind of go through until you find what you like. I do like this Christie font, so I'm going to choose this one. I'm just going to drag it in. Of course, we're going to double click to enter our text, right? Now here's where you need to figure out what you're going to say. You know, pick your favorite greeting card or you can just write something from the heart, a poem maybe that she loves. I've already created the text that I want to use and it's kind of mushy, sentimental, but I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it in here. And this is my full message. I'm not going to use this full message on this first scene, remember? I may even make to my wonderful mother be its own thing, this be its own thing. So maybe I want three or four scenes. So let's just go ahead and do that. You can play around. I think I might capitalize it, at least for this part. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that looks really pretty. You'll notice I accidentally put it on the second scene down here. So my first scene is blank. So to change that, just drag and drop. So now I'm here on my first scene. I would like a slight delay before it comes on. So I'm going to say one second. No, oh, that's probably too long. Let's say half a second. Duration is probably fine. At this point, we can choose a hand style if we'd like. So once again, go into settings. Since this is to my mom, I want to find a hand that represents me. So I'm going to look for a female light toned hand. So I think this one's probably the closest. So hit apply. Do a quick preview. And see how that slides off, but the background stays static. I like that. So I think I want to slow this down a little. Two seconds should be fine. And then I want a little pause before it switches so that you can read the text and absorb it. So I'm going to go for one and a half seconds, hit apply, and let's move on to scene two. It's very simple. Just drag and drop. 
replace the text. So I've already used to my wonderful mother, so I'm going to delete that. And then I'm going to delete these because I just want the first paragraph. And see how that's way, you know, that's too long. So you need word wrap. So go back in here and click word wrap. I think centered would probably look nice. We'll find out. And now we just want to resize it. And that looks really pretty. Again, I'm going to want some time at the end of the scene so people can read it and absorb it. This time a little bit more time because it's a longer message. I think two seconds should be fine. So remember, they're going to be reading it as it writes, but you still want a little bit of time. And let's see if the duration I think is going to need to be bumped up quite a bit because it's pretty long text. So again, we're going to hit preview. Yeah, see, that's way too fast. So let's go back, try six seconds. And this is just something you play with until it feels right to you. And that looks nice. So now we want to do our next scene. And this time I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the scene. Right click, duplicate. And I come over here to my third scene. The reason I did that is because the text is the right size and it's centered and word wrapped already. So I just want to replace it. Just saves me a couple steps. And again, I'm copying and pasting my original text and then I'm going to delete what I've already used. And I may or may not have the love Pam on this scene. We'll see. But if I do, I'm going to have it as a separate entry. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And that looks nice. I'm going to make it a little bit faster because it's less text. So let's try five seconds. This should already have the two seconds at the end of the scene settings, and it does. And that's because I duplicated it. So again, that saves me a step. Now, I still want to say love Pam, and I think it would be nice to have it on the same screen. So I'm going to drag and drop and Type in love Pam. This does change the layout a little bit. So let's move this up a touch. And that looks very nice. I do want a longer pause here at the end. So we're going to go for, say, 10 seconds. You know, say I'm posting it on social media or whatever. So then it's just going to kind of hover on this nice final sentiment. And then lastly, if you want to add some music, you go over to the Sounds tab, click Categories, Music, and find a pretty song. So I'm going to use the song Grace. So all I'm going to do is just drag and drop it into my timeline, Music 1. And obviously it's way too long. We've gone over this a few times before. So what you want to do is go to the end and then just slide it over. Do that a few times. And then you're going to fade it in and out. Now, I want it to start here. I don't want the big, long, dramatic entry to it. So what I'm going to do is I want it to start right about here. So I'm going to Go to the beginning and I'm just going to cut out this long dramatic part, maybe there. I'm going to move it over so it's right at the, the beginning where I want it to start. Just fine tune this. So now I want to stretch this out to the end. Now it's just we don't want it to start and end abruptly. So right click, I'm at the end right now, and choose fade out in this case. I want a nice slow fade. So that's going to be that one. And then you're going to do the same at the beginning. In this case, I want to fade it in. And this one can be a little quicker. And then finally, I like to turn the music down quite a bit because I don't know, they just seem really loud to me. So I'm going to turn it to about 37%. I'm not going to do a voiceover in this case, but you could. And your mom would probably really love it because it's your voice. She, she just loves you and she wants to hear from you. So consider doing that. And finally, let's go ahead and preview it.
That's pretty close. The only thing that I would change here is I would have a pause before the Love Pam comes in. So I'm just going to add in a second and a half. And then we'll just stretch this out so that the audio ends when the video ends. And there you have it. A quick and easy way to make a happy Mother's Day message for your mom this year. Thanks for watching. Bye.